attention to the lightweight ranks of glory and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. He's riding high from the Mile High City after a unanimous decision win in New York. Here comes Justin Houghton. J-Ho is the nickname, Justin Houghton. 11 and six overall, not all that impressive, Joe, if you look at that record, but he's fighting as well as he ever has, looking for his third straight win. And he said, listen, I'm not gonna come back and fight again until you put me in there with somebody that will make a difference in my career, and Elvis Gashi is that guy. Yeah, he got it, and J-Ho on that two-fight win streak has a lot of momentum, and you know, he's trained harder than ever, he's in the best shape of his life, and he's ready for a big task against the number four, Elvis Gashi. in O-Town with his unblemished professional record still intact. Please welcome Elvis Gashi. Elvis Gashi represents three nations. Albania, Kosovo, and of course the United States. He's very proud to be from New York City. The number four ranked lightweight in the world, Elvis Supergashi, hasn't fought in glory in almost a year though, Joe. What do you expect from it? Well, I expect the same Gashi we know. A good southpaw with a lot of power, man. Anytime he lands his left kick or his left straight, it does damage. He comes forward and hits really hard. So it's gonna be a tough one against Jay who Jay who doesn't like to take a step back as well. Here's our tail to tape and what could be the fight of the night. Number four versus number six in the lightweight division. Gashi, 26 years old, nine years younger than Jeho, who is an inch taller than Gashi. Professional experience, the edge goes to Gashi, as well as his undefeated record in KO power, but Jeho's developing, he's on that streak, so let's see if he can continue that momentum. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's lightweight division. Fighting out of the black corner, he is a former Golden Gloves boxer, bringing a two-fight winning streak to Orlando. His professional record, 11 wins with six losses. Three of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 154 pounds, 69.9 kilos. Fighting out of Eaton Rapids, Michigan, by way of Denver, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Justin J. Ho Houghton. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, an IKF US national champion and four-time Kosovo national champion. His professional record perfect. 22 fights, 22 wins. 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He is undefeated in four prior glory appearances. At five feet, nine inches tall, 1.75 meters. He weighed in at 152.8 pounds, 69.3 kilograms. He fights now out of the Bronx, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Super Elvis Gashi. And the third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Dave Smith. I know that you guys both know the rules. I want a clean, fair fight start to finish. Touch them up, step back, good luck to you both. Touch them. Good luck, brother. 
all the way back. A nice Albanian contingent here in Such Orlando, right. pulling for Elvis Supergashi, who was actually named by his aunt after Elvis Presley, but told us yesterday, I hate Elvis Presley's music. He's wearing the white gloves, J-Ho in the black. Right away, you see the southpaw left kicks of Gashi. And J-Ho coming forward, he's got a, a wicked oh, flying knee, but that... Oh, oh, what a kick from two, Gashi! You could see, three, you could four, hear it! So five, nasty! Six, and Justin Houghton seven, may not get up! Eight. What a statement made here for Elvis Gashi! He wants a world title shot, and he may have just earned it! Well, that was one of the most powerful left kicks we've seen. We know he has that finish ability, and man, he's just getting better and better. He's staying undefeated. He's got, you know, 23 and 0, now 11 knockouts. He's got an amateur record of 107 wins and three losses. Man, you gotta really think he could be next for a title shot. One of the quickest knockouts in lightweight glory history. Elvis Gashi, we have missed you, my friend. He is back with a vengeance. Let's watch the fight in its entirety, Joe. One kick. Yeah, I mean, he was setting it up. You can see, we know he's got power in that left kick. And you know, J-Ho was trying to get excited, mixing those knees. Elvis stayed patient and just got under that elbow of Houghton, and that's what gave him that finish. And listen, guys, Justin Houghton, one of the toughest fighters you'll ever come across, but there was no standing up after being hit by that left body kick. Yeah, and that body kick, just perfect angle that went right under that elbow, and it was almost low shin instep. And when that hits that liver, there's no coming up from that. Incredible stuff. Listen to this. Oh. J-Ho almost apologizing to Elvis that he couldn't put up more of a fight, but Joe, the bright lights are now shining on Gashi, who switched trainers, and he told us, I've never been faster, my movement is incredible, I'm going to stop him early at a four-month training camp. Yeah, he's with Henzo Gracie Academy now, so I mean, that power, man, is just something that Gashi has, and the fact that he can land it so consistently with all the experience he has, man, I'm excited to see. We have him ranked number four, the highest he's been ranked in the lightweight division. So onward and upward for Elvis Gashi. We will hear from Elvis Super Gashi when we return to Glory 67. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout comes to an abrupt end. Just 23 seconds into the fight and is ruled a knockout for your winner and still undefeated, Super Elvis Gashi. Congratulations, Elvis. What a performance. One shot, a one hitter quitter. Take us through that knockout. I don't have to say nothing, you guys seen it, so I think just give me that title fight in New York, in my hometown there, so give me title fight, I'm ready. Well, it seems like you've earned it. You knocked out number five, Josh Johnsey. You've uh, put this man down, J-Ho, a very tough customer. A lot of people thought you weren't going to be able to put him away, but it only took one kick for you to do it. That's because these two guys train me hard every day, every single day, Joe and Mike, so... 
All the hard work is to them, and I just listen to them and work hard. So we're gonna get that title with two, just two guys. All right, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna watch the fight in its entirety. Watch up here on the screen, take us through it. After the bell rang, you wasted no time. I hate Elvis Presley's music. He's wearing the white gloves, J-Ho in the black. What are you thinking right here? here? You just trying to get that liver. <laughs> Wait, there you go. We'll have to check our stats, but we think that may be the quickest knockout in the history of this division. So you probably made history here tonight. I know there are a lot of a lot of Albanians here tonight cheering for Elvis Gashi. What's your message to all those people who came out here with that red flag? Thank you guys for coming here down from New York. Love you guys. You're gonna get that title to New York. I promise you guys. We're getting that title back to New York. Listen, Marat Gregorian is the champion in your division. If you want to send a message to him right now, I know he's watching. What do you say? I'm ready. I'm ready. Just come to New York. All right. It would be certainly a fantastic fight. There he is. One more time, everybody. Super Elvis Gashi. Uh, Elvis Gashi looking really impressive. Now improved his glory record to 5 0, 1 2 by knockout. But man, that southpaw power he has, and he's very vocal about wanting that next title shot. I mean, he's got a tough task in Marat Gregorian, who's also known for his pressure and power style. But stylistically, that, that's a fight that I think fans are going to love to see. Both guys like to fight and have a lot of power. So, I mean, Elvis Gashi really made a case to be next. Elvis Gashi represents Kosovo, Albania, and America, and I think every country is going to be claiming him after that performance here in Orlando tonight. Congratulations to him, and what a banger that would be, Morat versus Elvis.